Hey, welcome back. It's Kristen from Six Sister Stuff. I am sister number two, and today in my kitchen, I am making a simple, easy recipe that takes no pots or pans. So over the holidays when we were growing up, we always had seven layer dip. So I was thinking, why not turn it into a burrito? So it really is so simple that even kids can put it together. All you need is a cutting board, a knife, and like a spoon to scoop your stuff out. And that is all. You can put it together in about five minutes. Now, if you haven't done so, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and push that little bell so you can get the notifications every time that we post to YouTube. All right, you guys, let's go make these seven layer dip bean burritos. All right, one thing I love about this is that you can make it for one person or for a lot of people. So I'm making it for my little family. So first I'm gonna take refried beans and notice how I just pulled it right out of the can because you really don't have to heat them up, it doesn't matter. Next I'm gonna take just a little bit of sour cream. I don't like a ton so I just did a little spoonful of it and spread it right next to the beans. Then I'm gonna take some guacamole. You can use avocados or guacamole. I like to use guacamole because it makes it really easy to put on there. So those three were kind of like the base of my burrito. All right, next I have chopped spinach. You can use other lettuce, but I had spinach. Then I chopped up some olives, and I also chopped up some tomatoes earlier and just put it right on there. If your kids don't like those things, you don't have to add them. And then of course, cheese on top, because that's how we make our seven layer dip. Then I'm just gonna pull in two of the sides and then roll it all together. Then when it's done, I just cut it in half so they can actually see what's inside of their seven layer dip burrito. So my kids will actually eat it. If I hand them one that's closed off, they won't touch it. One thing I love about these is that I make sure I always have enough for lunches the next day because it makes school lunches and my husband lunches so easy in the morning. Now, if you love this recipe, be sure to subscribe to our channel at Six Sister Stuff where you'll find all kinds of recipes and ideas. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.